we have finished with the installation of the uh, server for the proxy now we we'll log in and we, we now we are going to configure squid the proxy here so the public ip as you can see is 192.168.121.145 that is the public ip address uh, this is the one which i think you are able to see it i'll highlight it this is the public ip address 192 ens double uh, three and the public IP is this 192.168.121.135 and it has got a second LAN card which has got the IP of 10.0.0.200 so this one is in the NAT mode which will take me to the internet and this one is in the host only mode which will be connecting to the data center to the uh, host only right so we will we are going to do SSH onto this machine so you can use any tool I'll, I'm going to access it from my Windows uh, like box. So either for this SSH purpose, either you can use Putty. You must be familiar with this tool or Mobile Extra, whichever you are comfortable with. So I normally use Mobile Extra, so I will use this tool, Mobile Extra, to connect to my server. All I need to remember is the IP address 192.168.121.145. So let's do this. So I open my mobile action and we'll hit onto this 145. So I don't have 145 here. So session SSH 192.168.121.145. And if you remember the username which I have created was Alok. So I click onto the Alok search and then log in here. Here I am. I'm on my proxy server. That's it. So this the first thing we are going to do is that we have to configure it as a proxy. So if I can check, I should be able to access the internet because of the NAT. Yes, successful, perfect. So it's a server, no GUI here. Now how to configure it as a proxy? So we have a GitHub repository where I had mentioned all the steps and that resource is available to you. So if you open the github.com slash network nuts slash Kubernetes, this is going to be a very useful resource for you during this training and even after that training. So in this location, go to the scripts and in the scripts, you will find proxy configuration. Click here. So all the steps are available here. So my proxy IP is 10.0.0.200, which I can confirm. IP address show 10.0.0.200. So I have written the configuration based on this IP address. If you have changed the IP, make sure and remember to change it. So first thing is that, so what you need to do is just follow the steps. So first is I need to do an APT update. I copy from here and paste it from here. It's easy. Do an APT update here. Follow the guidelines and the whole proxy will be configured. So first the APT update will update my repositories, whatever repositories I'm using. So this machine is directly connected to the internet. So no extra efforts here to go to the internet. Perfect. This is done. What next? The next step is I need to install squid. So just install the squid, apt install squid hyphen y. It will install the squid for me and then I need to configure. Now, important part. In the squid, I only want that my manager, worker one and the worker two, right? Only these three machines should be allowed to go to the internet. Other machines are not allowed to go to the, the internet or use the proxy. So I need to configure an ACL, not mandatory, honestly, not at all mandatory. But it's good to know that how I can restrict certain machines to access the internet. So proxy is installed here. What next? So first thing is that I create a file, any file name. So I create a file at cSquid allowed hyphen ips.txt, anything. So I created a file at cSquid allowed hyphen ips.txt and in this write the ips which you intend to supply or allow so 10.0.0.100 is my manager 10.0.0.1 is my worker 1 10.0.0.2 is my worker 2 and so on if you have more ips right here save and come on so we have a file which contains the list of the ips which are allowed to access the proxy the first thing you should do it Second thing, I have to open the proxy configuration file at c-squid.conf. That is the main config file. So I had mentioned here also, open the at c-squid.conf file and add these lines. 
So copy and paste from this. I can copy it. That's my file name. I copy this and I open it and search for insert. Yeah, insert your own rules here. Just go here and oh sorry insert enter here we are so here you can allow your own entries add your own entries like i had mentioned here so i copy this one copy it and paste it here insert my own rules i paste it here so acl allow ips source is at c squid allowed hyphen ips dot t or dot txt and after this i just write here h uh, the local host should be be allowed and then http underscore access allowed allowed ips so this is the same name allowed ips here allowed ips here so please, please allow this range of ips this is all you have to do rest it is all deny all i'm not touching that so i'm not touching this save and come out so these three things you need to do save and come out from here and restart the proxy system ctl restart squid and we will enable it also uh, obviously it's a server so we need to enable it so wait for a minute squid will always take some time to start make sure the names and the ips are cool so allowed hyphen ips dot txt that should be the same file name which i has to i have to mention in the squid.conf file so we will double check it let it restart and then enable it system ctl enable squid sorry squid so i can check it out i can check the status of the service system ctl status squid right running and it is running on port number 3126 i can check that also and if i check it uh, i can use netstat or ss command ss hyphen tulnp pipe grep squid use hyphen i also though not needed yeah it is run it is running on 3128 that's the port number where the squid is is running so guys make sure that this file name at c squid allowed ips.txt this should be the same in the squid squid.com file so at c squid allowed hyphen ips.txt that's all so this is what is being has to do so i had done it here restart it check it out so my squid is properly configured and i have checked it is running on 3128 so this is how you configure the squid proxy if you have done with this and checked you are good to move to the next